635 News at 10. A 71-year-old man went for a swim and wound up in big trouble. With nobody in sight, Thomas Blake tossed aside his walker and jumped in the pool to save him. Our Beth Sherman has the hero story. Thomas Blake has cerebral palsy, is deaf, and uses a walker to get around. He also carries with him a can-do attitude. So when Blake saw a 71-year-old man black out in this swimming pool, he didn't think twice about hitting the deep end. I thought he was dying at first. I thought I'm gonna yell for help. For more than 20 minutes, he held the man's head above water. His cries for help were finally answered, and the 71-year-old tells us he's grateful for Blake's heroics. I can do anything in life without feeling sorry for myself. If you could just put your mind to it. Over at WORC, the work-oriented rehab center, it's business as usual. Here, Blake and others learn work and social skills and build confidence. We were very proud. I mean, he came in and he didn't say a word to anybody. <laughs> He's very humble. Frazier hopes Blake will change a few perceptions. You know, sometimes you hear horror stories and um, it gets you very upset, but uh, it's getting there. Blake lives with his mother at Pidwick Village, a retirement community. There he exercises in the pool nightly and practices what he preaches. Life is a mystery. You can't just wait and say, oh, I can't learn this. Oh, I can't learn that. Oh, I can't, I, I gotta wait for God to save me. And lucky for a fellow neighbor, Blake was able to step in for the save. In Port Orange, Beth Sherman, Fox 35 News. All of Florida, you're watching Local 6 News at 5. You could call him an unlikely hero, a deaf man with cerebral palsy rescuing an elderly swimmer from a swimming pool. It happened at the Pickwick Retirement Community Home in Port Orange. Tark Miner spoke to both the victim and the hero. I'm very proud of Tom. It's great. It's incredible. Thomas Blake was born with cerebral palsy. He's deaf and sometimes has a hard time pronouncing his words. But none of those personal challenges stand in his way. He's a hero responsible for saving a stranger's life. I'm a shining example that the handicapped people are not like a shop liver or, or, or become a shining example. In America or anywhere in the world, we can, we can do anything in the world. Blake rushed to the aid of 71-year-old Stuart Forrester, who was floating face down in the swimming pool. Blake held Forrester above water for 30 minutes all the while, he was yelling for help, assistance that eventually came. I realized he was in trouble, and then I had a pam in the back, and I thought he was dying. I really thought he was dying, but he, he came out of it a miracle that I really thought he was dying. When Stuart Forrester walked through these gates, he never imagined his life would be in danger. He wouldn't talk to us on camera today, but he says Blake saved his life, an unlikely hero defying the odds. Man in his condition, saving somebody who weighs a lot more than him, holding him up against the wall like that, that's great. As Blake continues his strained walk through his everyday life, he knows nothing will stand in his way. Nothing will hold him back. In Port Orange, Tarek Miner, Local 6. Orange man has been honored as a community hero for rescuing an elderly man who nearly drowned in a swimming pool. And this is a great story. And what's amazing about this hero is that he has severe physical limitations. But Channel 9's Dane Weister shows you how Thomas Blake overcame his disability to save another man's life. Thomas Blake has cerebral palsy. He needs a crutch to walk. And he's deaf. He's been like this all his life, but his condition didn't stop him September 20th. Help! So I yell loud as I can. This 38-year-old not only yelled, but held another man above water at the Pickwick Village community pool for a half hour. The 71-year-old man passed out and sank while swimming here. Thomas was also in the pool and didn't hesitate to help. No other way, no second thought. First thought, and that's it. Thomas grabbed the man by the arm, swam over to the pool ledge, and held on, screaming as loud as he could. I had my faith in the water a little bit myself. Nobody inside the clubhouse here heard his cries for help until a man at this home walked outside. That's when he heard him, and that's about 100 yards away. I don't know him. I can hear the voice. Thomas's rescue now has earned him the first Port Orange Mayor's Hero Medal. He's also been honored by the governor and other organizations. His family knew he had it in him, but they're also surprised. To think that he really did that, Mom. I said, I know. I always said he was special, didn't I? 
Even Thomas feels exceptional now, all because he didn't let his special condition get in the way. I feel I have a purpose in life, and you don't feel sorry for myself, but oh, I can't do that. In Port Orange, Dane Weister, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Hmm, what a great, great job he did. Thomas Blake is also being considered for a National Heroism Award. Pickwick Village, a quiet community in Port Orange, Florida, not far from Daytona Beach. Home of crazy college kids on spring break, bikers, and the occasional NASCAR race. But you won't find any of that here at Pickwick. One thing you will find is a remarkable young man who recently performed an act of heroism so astonishing it has galvanized this entire community. I come in like a yell for help, and then the guy the neighbor guy was smoking outside. 
found my boy, and he came over. He called 911, and then uh, and it came out of the mail for me. He did it all right. I had to get him out. How'd you get him out? Well, I had to pull him in the front of the water, and I had him, I had him up. I held him up and yelled for help. And then uh, the neighbor guy came in, heard my voice, and he called 911, and he helped me. He get this guy out of the pool, guy out of the pool. How did you hold him up? I had to lift him up on the leg a little bit, but that's the time the neighbor helped me. He got the arm, and I had to get the guy's leg. And I pammed him back a little bit. But they came out a miracle. Yeah. And they wanted to know the same thing, how, how it happened, and why it happened. And they got a lot of hell of awards. They get the recognition for that. I'm happy with that. That's what led me out of go. He gave me some, but he was, he was very impressed with it. So he wrote a, a personal letter mm -hmm. to me at the WRC workshop. You can't just, you can't have to make, make uh, some neighbor that's a lot of people when they need help. Or, I used to go to church every Sunday or Saturday and say my prayer and hope for the best. And uh, but I don't pray when a guy is struggling in the water like that. It, it, it doesn't work that way. You should pray on the and the guy is strangling in the water. You do that after you finish. When I heard what he had done down at the pool, in a way, it did surprise me. But then. Amazed at how well he was able to do this, and he has continued to amaze me in his swimming and his everyday activities. Uh, it's uh, some meaning to his life and to mine, and, and in many ways, Tom has become more confident, and uh, that's because he now knows he can do things that other people do. And not many people can save a human life, but he did. To Tom, and there was a reason for this, and Tom knows it, and I know it. Maybe other people don't understand it, but I do. Uh, we'd met Tommy, and we'd met his mother. we got to know them. But I wanted to know more. I wanted to find the real Tommy Blake. So I went looking. What I found surprised me. Here comes a Lucky in the rough net post. The two is wide tells the mean. Back to the work. Six 